All right, guys. So I'm here with JRE Show. I'm Earthling, and we have the Google Chromecast here. Pretty new device here. It's only been out a little while, and they're sold out. It seems like everywhere. Pretty cool device that lets you stream from your computer, tablets, smartphones to your HDMI TV. So we're going to go ahead and test out a lot of different devices and see how this works. So we got a MacBook Pro, an older, what is that, a netbook? It's a netbook. It's an EEE PC. A netbook. We have a Samsung Galaxy S4, a um, Kindle, Fire HD. Kindle Fire, yep, Kindle Fire HD, and we also have an iPhone that we can uh, stream it off of that as well. So we're just going to run through play a couple of YouTube videos and also uh, kind of experiment if there's going to be any lag time, the difficulty of just connecting them. So just going to hang out here and we're going to start connecting. Um, I think we're going to try out this netbook first. It's older. It's probably what, two gigs uh, of RAM? or I, I upgraded it to two. It came with one gig, but yeah, this thing is probably about six years old. It's got like a 1.5 gigahertz single core processor. I mean, it's an old, slow computer. Uh, so we're going to test it out. I just opened the... Uh, Chrome browser here, but now we got to go ahead and get a plugin uh, Jay was talking about. So what it's, do I do? It's uh, Google.com slash Chromecast uh, slash setup. All right, so we'll go to that web address. For those of you who don't know what the Chromecast is, um, it's a small device that plugs in your TV, and you can stream what's on your computer, uh, what's on your tablet, cell phone. Basically down to what Google provides, such as Google Chrome, um, YouTube, Netflix, and Google Play. So this is the page it's bringing up right there. I think you got to scroll down just a little bit. Does it say anything about a plugin? Uh, you may be able no. This is like trying to set up Chromecast here. Okay, yeah, just scroll up a little bit and then. This is trying to set up your device. Oh, okay. It's saying this computer's too old. Is it really? Yeah. This is exactly, I took this over uh, to a friend's house and actually plugged it into a PC and I got that same message. Let me try just Googling Chromecast plugin here and see if there's a plugin for Chrome. Because, I mean, it should work though, right? Mm. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't work on old computers. Well, let's try another device while I kind of look around yeah, here. Yeah, I'll jump on here and clear off all these. And I've already installed the... Uh, the device or the the plugin so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a doggy trolling motor now this is I'm running YouTube on MacBook Pro and I'm just gonna go ahead and connect hit this little thing right there ma'am or miss I get another uh, ginger ale oh. let's hold on a sec here now wait for it to start playing I want to play on the Chromecast. Okay, now it's connecting the Chromecast, so there we go. And that plugin stays installed. I always use Chrome as my browser anyway, so. Yeah, I didn't really use Chrome that much for my browser, but it works pretty good. I don't think this old PC is going to work. Your MacBook has it. As you guys can see probably too when it's coming through, the quality is just as good as it would be on your regular screen. It's it's pretty darn good quality streaming through there. And you see here on the computer, this is gonna stay paused. Now check this out though, watch. I'll hit pause here. Oh it paused. Okay, cool. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and just turn back off the uh, casting and this time I'm just gonna cast the whole the whole uh, browser the whole Chrome browser have you tried that before yeah I've, I've tried it I haven't done much surfing on it though okay, come on open up work. a new tab here and let's check out looks like it's cutting off the top of your screen though I mean, yeah it's still stuck on there huh yeah it's not on it's not on the right page what's going on here? Doesn't look like, looks like they probably have some bugs to work out with this uh, product still. Oh, now we're oh. back. Now it was moving again, but it's, no, it's not doing what you're doing. Oh, well, now it is. Cast it this seems tab. like there's a lag. Move your, okay. move your screen up and down again. Oh. It's not one to. No, it doesn't want to let you browse. Let's close out of this, and now I'm going to hit cast again. Now I'm on Google. So maybe it's just whatever tab's open, it kind of gets stuck. I'll try to search for something. Only casting. Let's yeah, look see up. If you can uh, actually use it. 
it's, it's oh, I think it's going slowly. It's it's got lag to it, but it is going. Yeah, everything you do, it's about a second behind, but that's fine, I guess. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna move my fingers now. That could get really annoying. That could definitely get really annoying if you were trying to use it for anything. Just you don't want to have to wait there and lag. Let's look up the rest of these. Let's open up a old blog. On a side note, while he's doing that, the Asus EE PC, I couldn't find anything quickly for it. it. It looks like it's harder on older computers. So we're just gonna set that aside. Newer computers, anything that's you know the last few years should work on like his MacBook here. But uh, you know it should work on this. But I, we're not getting it going on that. So we'll skip that old computer and just call that a no go. So it is. It is doing your stuff. My pizza shop. I have no idea what my pizza shop is. They got all you my got, videos. <laughs> you got something. Uh, There's my videos on my pizza shop. Let's just play a video just for fun. See, this they one play of your videos? YouTube. They're all my videos. Those are all my videos. Are they playing through YouTube at least? Okay. But now it's not on your screen. It's really lagged out. Yeah, it's not right, working again. So, so how to they, uh, the they have some updating to do because this is not working on And I actually don't even have that uh, stream. And I'm already... So let me see if I back out here if it's going to freeze. Oh, wait again because that opened in a new browser. Oh, well then try it again here. So if I go and click oh, so here... But it's in a new browser again. Yeah. So anytime it opens a new browser or messes around with the tabs, you're gonna have problems. All right, everyone. So today we're gonna look at. So there's gotta be some hedgehog. way to. It would have to stay in the past, same tablet tab, tab, I guess. My pizza shop. So what you need is a rag, a toothbrush. So now if I stop casting from there, and start I wonder if I can go one. back in here and go back to the Chromecast. So, yeah, so every single time you change a tab, you have to restart it. There it is. So that works, but it's really laggy, and it's, I'd say it's not good for web surfing, not at this point. The, Air, the, Google, the um, Apple Air, or whatever, that doesn't lag up browser, does it? No, no, that's bad. All right, so uh, that's, that's basically that, um, just depending, you know, tabs, it doesn't know. If you switch tab, you got to open it up again, or, you know, but that's, that's casting with that. Um, this is pretty sweet. Uh, you want to do the Netflix on there or yeah, on let's, here? Yeah, let's test the Netflix on here. I'll show my phone with the YouTube in a minute. So on my tablet, I haven't done anything. All I've done is connect to the Wi-Fi, and once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you don't have to do anything. If we go in the Netflix or YouTube, I'm going to go in the Netflix here. So no no apps, you didn't have to no install apps, any apps. No setting up, no nothing. If I just go ahead and click to play a show, I already had it set up to play on the screen, but I'm going to cancel that and then show you guys again how you do it if uh, it wasn't already set to play on the screen. And actually over here on my screen, you just started playing something. And my Chromecast, it says it Netflix says is being played. Netflix. That's weird, yeah. It knows so. what it's doing. This is loading a little slow here, but once it gets up, I'll show you the button in here that we use to toggle it on and off. So this little button down here, uh, it's showing that it's uh, turned on to go on the screen. So it's going to load up there. I'm going to let it play for a second just so you guys can see it's playing up there okay. It's buffering it. I don't think it took this long earlier. That's just because we got so many devices connected to Wi-Fi. We got like five devices connected to Wi-Fi. So as you can see here, it plays Netflix perfectly. There's you know no Let's lag. skip ahead to the end. How about that? Skip ahead to the end? All right, well... I just clicked that button, so I think I kind of got to wait a second now. Let's see what it's doing. It's a little, like, it's not the tablet. This would be bad if you had an actual two-hour movie you wanted to just sit there and right. let play. Right. And then the quality is really good. Yeah, then you don't have to worry about it. Well, it kind of just, like, seemed to kind of freeze on me. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to leave it on. Put it on my device here. It's being really laggy right now, which is odd. Huh? Oh. So when, I, when you load Netflix, though, earlier, if it wasn't already connected, without doing anything... When your Netflix loads up here on just the tablet, which again it's being pretty slow. What do you What are you playing now? Oh, same, same thing. One. I'll skip to the end. But um, when you just start it now, if this little button here, all you do is click that, and that's how we had it on the screen. You just click the Chromecast there. It was already set to that last time, uh, before uh, the video was going on there. So what it actually is doing here, we believe is that it's actually loading from your Netflix account, and then you're going to be... So he could actually shut this down, this yeah, whole tablet. He here. could turn it off. Let me go ahead here and shut down my tablet. 
and this should work. So we did it with the Galaxy S4. Tablet is shut down, off completely, and it's still playing. And let's, we can just let it play for a second here. Uh, I'm going to try to maybe interrupt uh, his Netflix playing, and I'm going to try to play a YouTube video. I have an iPhone 4 here. And I should be able to start playing any YouTube video, and it should have the cast, um, the YouTube, or Switch the cast, over. yeah, the Chromecast popping up. So let me, uh... So with this turned off, it must just kind of tell Netflix what to do, and then it doesn't need your device to actually do anything. But you can still pause and everything if you leave your device open. But once it's turned off, now it's just going to play until you interrupt it or turn off and on your Chromecast. And as you can see... Right here, I do have that cast option. No app has been installed on this. this. is just the standard YouTube app that comes with iOS. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to kind of kick his off. And it looks like it worked. Yep, there we go. And now it's going to cast this. This is the iPhone 4. It's going to cast it. Let's see here. It's taking yeah, a Yeah, we just time. got a lot on your Wi-Fi. And now it says... Look, it's changed on this computer again, and it actually has the video that's being played, Life Advice Episode 1, on the Chromecast. So that's kind of neat, too, now. The thing's going to play here. Yeah, it's just the Wi-Fi. There we go. So that's, uh, that's, there it is on YouTube. We'll do one more phone here to show the Samsung Galaxy S4 working. Show that it works with the Android devices. Same thing, I'm just going to go to YouTube. And as you can see here, it's just on Android, like, like Apple, there's this little button to cast it. I'm going to start my video and I'm going to click cast on the Chromecast. And once it loads up here, I don't know if I have to play again. I thought I already did. But I'll hit play again. Now, I didn't disconnect necessarily from this. So. He didn't, yeah, he might not. But there it goes. So it even has uh, the information at the top, uh, which is kind of cool. And it should change over, I would assume. I'm just watching this little tab that's opened on my yeah. computer. It's still it hasn't staying changed it's that there, one, but yeah. But that's because you maybe didn't disconnect fully either. It's confused with both devices. As you can see, streaming from the Galaxy S4 here, no problem, really fast. And uh, it's not Flush showing it. on my phone, so I can't uh, pause it or stop it or skip through. It is counting on my phone. Let's see if I can skip through. How about this? I did have a question. Does Looks it like work with headphones? Can you plug these in and see if you can hear it through here? If I plug in my headphones to my phone, I can not hear it through any headphones. No. Okay. Well. So on your device, you can skip and stuff, and you actually can pause, but you just Chromecast can't see the video. Chromecast is at max. Okay. Yep. So you can control the volume from it too, right? You can control the volume from it. Yeah. So that's nice. You can control your volume and everything right from your device. And also on the TV. It's really nice for you for Netflix though. Like just connect your phone, watch a Netflix movie. You don't have to watch commercials, and it's all wireless. So that's cool. Overall, for the price of it, it's a pretty cool little thing. I am just gonna try it uh, on this one more time, just to see. Double check, make sure it's not gonna work with the headphones. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't think it will though, because it tells you sound to go through the uh, other way, other place. Let's go back here, and I'm gonna hit play. It says it's already connected. Oh, and it just jumped back over. I'm still connected to. That's it. why it stayed on it. So, oh, I think they. I mean, it works really great. I think they have some like. Uh, and once the headphones are plugged in. Yeah, once they update some drivers and get it perfect, it'll be nice. It's it's nice as is, but the uh, web browsing is just way too slow, and it's got some quirks. But this is it. I leave it. I've had it plugged in now for a couple days, and I just let it sit plugged in. And every time I go to HDMI channel three, it's ready to cast. Yeah, it's real nice to have that wirelessly. They've had it for Apple for a while with their AirPlay or whatever it's called. Finally, it's for everyone now with Chromecast. So that's pretty cool. And thirty-five bucks. Thirty-five bucks. That's pretty amazing. That is pretty. Amazing. I'm amazed that they have it that low. They probably could have sold these things for ninety-nine, and no one would have cared. Everyone would have bought them just as much. So that's pretty good price on these. And now we have four. You know, Tab was telling me earlier. He read that with some TVs, if you plug in the uh, Chromecast, you don't need the external power supply. Right. So I said that in some review or somewhere I read that if you have a newer TV with a stronger HDMI, I guess newer TVs have more power going through them. 
that you might not need that extra power cable. But if you need it, you just plug that in either to AC or you could probably plug it into the back of a computer even. Uh, but some of the new TVs you don't need that, which would be really nice. That's about it. Yeah. So anyways, guys, check out the Chromecast. Pretty darn cool little device if you can get your hands on one. Otherwise, wait a couple weeks. They should be available soon. Thumbs up. Yeah. Anyways, guys, see you later. Yep.